Welcome! In this video, we'll guide you through the process of creating a 3D printable emold for the industrial model you see on the screen. This step-by-step -step tutorial will cover everything from setting up the mold's dimensions to finalizing it for 3D printing. First of all, we need to understand the model's bounding box dimensions. It is a starting point for designing our mold. Without that, it's impossible to move on to designing the mold. So, now we see the dimensions. Next, we create the platform into which we'll pour the material. For this, we need a cube, or more accurately a rectangular box. We can set the platform dimensions in the Create Simple Object tab. These fields will correspond to X, Y, and Z. In our scenario, X will be 800, Y will be 450, and Z will be 150. Now, let's activate the preview to see the result. The platform has been created, but not in the right place. Its bounding box center is positioned at the origin of the coordinate axis. To deal with this mismatch, we move the model there too. As the bounding box shows, they are fitting snugly against each other. Therefore, we'll add some clearance. We'll add 100 millimeters on each side of the platform. Then we create the object and turn off what we don't need. We go to Mesh Edit and perform a Mesh Boolean by subtracting our model from the rectangular box. We activate the bounding box again. Now we need to cut the platform into two parts. To do this, we activate the Section tool. Notice that our model is properly enclosed within the platform. We take a distance of 250, divided by 2 for our scenario, and click Cut Objects by Plane. Now we have equal upper and lower parts. We need to add connectors so that the two halves fit together properly. For that, we go back to create simple objects. We need four cylinders for the four corners. We set their dimensions and create four cylinders. We switch to the top view. Select these four cylinders, activate the move object mode, and position them in the corners like this. They're grouped, so we'll merge them with the lower object by performing a Boolean union. We also have the upper part. Permit? I actually want to subtract a lower part with those four cylinders. Now we have an upper part with empty slots for the cylinders and a lower part with the cylinders. Let's name the lower part accordingly. All that's left is to make a hole in the upper part for pouring in the material. We'll place it here in the center. Again, we go to create simple objects. We pick a size that suits us. Our cylinder passes through the object, and we can see it. We create the cylinder. For the final touch, we do a mesh boolean, subtracting the cylinder from the object. We name this piece accordingly, upper part. We now have both parts at our disposal. Let's move them apart a bit, upper part a little higher, lower part a little lower. That's it, we can see the step file between the two parts, all three are grouped. Before proceeding with 3D printing, we need to perform a final check using the Mesh Healer tool. This step ensures that there are no inconsistencies or defects in the mesh. Any small gaps, non-manifold edges, or intersecting faces can cause issues during printing, so we carefully inspect the model. If any issues are found, we repair them to guarantee a smooth and successful print. Once the mesh is verified and repaired, we can confidently export the model in a 3D printable format. Now, our engold is ready for manufacturing.